Hello, welcome to this Rec Room video, and in today's Rec Room video, it's not a news video or your average video. It's honestly just a video about a topic that I want to shine some light on. Now, Rec Room has many problems, game development, moderation issues, but I want to talk about room moderation inside of Rec Room. It's a big problem inside of Rec Room. Werewolf had a really good video talking about Rec Room not being safe for kids and talking about room moderation and one of these actual rooms that I wanted to talk about, titled New Girls Smiling Critters Roleplay. This room room inside of Rec Room is, you know, a cartoon room as you guys can tell. Smiling Critters, I, I don't know what the cartoon is now with the kitties, but it, it's a new cartoon with the kitties. It's disguised as your average roleplay room, which Rec Room has a lot of, which are just roleplay rooms of famous cartoons that little kids like, like Poppy Playtime, like Digital Circus, Smiling Critters apparently. But what's really bad about this room is that it's a sexualized room with sexualized characters from whatever cartoon this is. Inside of Werewolf's video, he reveals that it has the junior tag and stuff like that, so junior accounts can actually go and play this map. To top that off, there's little to no creativity being used in there, a bunch of inventions, and a bunch of more bad stuff. If you guys really want to go check out the gist of it, please go check out his video. Continuing onwards though, the reason why it's super bad that it's on the hot page for multiple months is because the hot page is like where all the most popular games are. Thousands of players, if not most of the Rec Room community sees that on their Watch UI page. It's, it's crazy. Now this isn't the only case where this has happened before. There's been multiple other rooms and stuff like that, but basically there will be a room or two that's just like this that'll stay on the hot page for multiple months, gain a bunch of traction with whoever plays it, probably Probably kids. And the thing is, is that creators can actually earn profits and engagement on their accounts and stuff like that from rooms just like this. So yes, that's right, this is a heavily sexualized room that was available for junior accounts. And Rec Room is supposedly COPPA compliant and even has a kids safe certification. So this is bad news for Rec Room, right? Obviously they would try to do something to get rid of this room. Well, as I mentioned before, this room was untouched for a while on the hot page for whatever reason, and whenever Rec Room, you know, decides to take down this room, creators that make this room barely get punished. When there's instances of rooms like this popping up, and Rec Room creators, like popular Rec Room creators, make instances or talk about it in public discussions, little to no action is ever really done, to be honest. Now, I know this video seems like it's kind of, you know, hating towards Rec Room's safety team and stuff like that, and I want to say I don't hate Rec Room at all. I love Rec Room. Rec Room is what I do. The reason why not only myself but basically everyone inside the Requiem community complains about things like this inside the community is because they love the game and they don't want this type of stuff on it. So it doesn't come out of a hate for the game, it comes out of love for the game for having these sorts of opinions. So in case it feels like, you know, a lot of hate is coming out of this video to Rec Room and stuff like that, it really is just all out of love because we don't want this in the game. Now when Rec Room decides to not punish these creators, these creators can just go and reclone the map that got disabled so they can just re make the map all over again. Some maps aren't even about the same thing, but have a different title and thumbnail. Like one will be about like Poppy Playtime or something like that, but when you enter the map or look at the pictures inside that game, it's actually Digital Circus. It's insane how these people get away with it, and I feel like it's just so easy to catch it. It, it literally is right in front of your face. It's literally just a bunch of slop. Like, it, it's not creative at all. There's no love for building, there's no love for the craft, there's no love for Rec Room in these games. And it's honestly super heartbreaking to see and see players complain about. So if Rec Room could, it would be awesome if they could start getting rid of these games faster, start punishing these creators a lot more harsher, like with bans or, you know, getting rid of their building and creating perm, something. But we just honestly need more things done, definitely. And I really do hope that Rec Room behind the scenes is working on whatever to kind of fix this issue. The New Girls Smiling Critters roleplay, e even the room name New Girls is just weird, I don't like that. The New Girls Smiling Critters roleplay is no longer on the hot page and stuff like that, and I really don't even want to have to search it up and stuff, so I'm just gonna assume that Rekum got rid of it, but whenever there is another clone of that room that comes out, Rekum may not get rid of that for the next few months. Oop, I just noticed my ma my mic was off. I'm, 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 it's fine. So obviously, if you couldn't already tell, there is a serious issue inside of Rec Room, and it definitely does need to be fixed. I really do hope that this video decides to shine some light on the entire situation, and honestly, we'll just have to kind of cross our fingers and hope Rec Room decides to do something. I personally believe that Rec Room decides to listen to their community because they actually take in feedback and stuff like that, so I'm sure if enough players are actually complaining and viewing and seeing all of this, I'm sure Rec Room will do something. We just need to make more of a shout about it, for sure. So of course, be sure to let me know if you guys have any sort of experiences or anything weird that has happened inside of Rec Room or things you want to call out. And if you're a kid that's watching this that has a junior account, don't spend your money on these maps. 
Of course, if big creators are complaining and really nothing is being done, it kind of makes, you know, your criticism kind of seem bleak. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. As you guys can see, there is a big issue with Rec Room and its room moderation, especially with this most recent case. Some big players inside this video that have really inspired me to make it had to have been, you know, Neko and Frypan Knight, two massively popular creators inside of Rec Room that complain about these rooms a lot. Neko even has their own series on their ins on her Instagram account where they talk about these types of rooms and the recommended for you. They rate rooms, people, so if you guys are looking for some good maps to actually go check out and stuff like that, check out their Instagram. Though I won't lie, most of them most of them are pretty bad. And of course, big massive shout out to Werewolf for that video and stuff like that. It really did help me understand the entire situation a lot. And honestly, he's just a cutie patootie. Anyways, though, <laughs> that's pretty much this entire video. Probably a terrible video for me to promote my code on, but of course, you should totally use Code Skull. Of course, of course, people, if you guys don't already know, I have channel memberships. They decide to give me their money for a bunch of perks and stuff, and I can shout them out in videos so you guys can see them right there. It honestly isn't too appropriate for me to be, you know, shamelessly self-plugging on this type of video and stuff, so I'm not really going to go all crazy and read them out and stuff. Of course, feel free to subscribe for more content, and I will be looking down at your guys' comments. See you in the next one.